Okay, in this video, I'm going to show um, Stellaris uh, Launchpad actually work with uh, an enco encoder interface chip and a uh, uh, H-bridge to drive a motor, to control a motor actually. Say the motor is actually in a controlled motion. So every time it turns a fixed degree, like every second. So um, let's see how I make it happen. Um, this is a, a simulated diagram. And uh, on this part is just PID controller that controls the motor. And he, this part is uh, the signal generator. Like they should generate the step input. Uh, each step is 1,000. Uh, I put a gain here to make it make it like every uh, step uh, step up 1,000. And uh, on this part is a newly uh, introduced block. It's a uh, it's LS 7366R. Uh, um, that's the name of the chip, uh, which interface with a uh, uh, quadrature signal, encoder signal, and uh, uh, the output of that chip is uh, SPI interface, which basically gives the counter. Okay, um, and also I output the counter into a, a, a zero terminal, so you can see every time it's jump a thousand. So yeah, that's it. I mean, if you can't see clearly, I just zoom in a little. Okay, so. Uh, Basically, circuit is uh, just like normal. It's a little bit uh, hard to figure out what's going on here, but th this chip right here is a uh, LS uh, 7366R, and this two pin is A and B encoder signal that's coming from the motor. Um, actually, it's from here. The, uh, these four wires include the uh, VCC ground and the a, a channel and B channel. This black and uh, black black and red wire are just power to the motor. Um, okay, so this channel and uh, like I said, the output of the chip is uh, SPI. So the SPI goes with these loose wires into zero uh, into the SPI port of the uh, Stellaris, so I can uh, read it from the from the that block. I showed you before this block. And uh, um, on the other part, which is the actuation part, uh, the PWN signals and the direction signal goes into this H bridge, um, basically motor driving board. So the, the, the input power comes from here. And uh, these two are the motor output, which I showed you before, like the two wires. And the input signal are uh, the direction and the PWM, it's reversed. Reverse it for me. Okay, so it's a uh, direction and the PWM. Um, that's because it, uh, the the PWM of uh, of the uh, of the uh, Stellaris only uh, gives um, like one direction on PWM. Basically, it's like it swim to one direction. So we need a direction input to signal uh, whether it's positive or negative. And the result is actually promising. Uh, let me show you the a plot of, um, uh, this is the encoding count. So every time it's supposed to go up a thousand, and you can see it's like an error is like one or two, it's gonna be very minimal. So uh, if I hit reset, okay, goes from the start. Yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for uh, watching.